Welcome forward, welcome forward, welcome forward to episode two of another very special vlog featuring my guest, none other than Patrick Anthony Tenu. And um, previously we was talking about how he actually started um, getting into music and getting into playing brass instruments and stuff like that. But now we want to get into the meat and potatoes or the ITAR, depending on your <laughs> persuasion, right? So we want to get into that and actually talk about the, the, the groups that he um, collaborated with. And the first group, I do believe, was Matumbi, right? Correct, yeah. Okay, so let me ask this question before you even go any further. At what stage of Matumbi's career um, did you actually start working with them? Because I, I know my earliest memory of Matumbi was actually um, when they recorded The Man and Me and After Tonight. And incidentally, The Man and Me was written by Bob Dylan, little known fact. And um, and after tonight, which was a, a staple in the blues dance and shubins at the time. So was it was it pre was it pre Man in Me after tonight or was it post Man in Me after tonight? It was um, pre post. It was post. Yeah. So they already had that hit. They already had that hit, and uh, uh, Man in Me. Yeah, they already had those hits. I joined them when they had the uh, the album called Seven Seals. Right. And um, this is uh, the reason why that was uh, when, I've, if you know the story that I, that I told earlier on mm. about Ethan coming two weeks late, never came. Right. So, so let me so let me just stick another pin there. So, let, okay. So, who was who was the singers? Who were the singers in the group? Because I remember that they had very distinctive voices. So, who was who was the who was the main singers of the, the group? main singers of that of of Matumbis mm. is. Bevin Fiergan yeah. and Glester Venn. Two different surnames, but they're both brothers. They're both brothers, okay. They are both brothers. And uh, they were they were the voice of Matumbi. Man in Me, sung by um uh Bevin, Bevin. and and after tonight Glester. is Glester. Right. Another another bit of trivia that I, that I need I need I need yeah. I need clarifying right was Glaster the voice of a subgroup that they made called Riot Squad yes Glaster and they sung a tune called I just want to love you when all that whole lick there is just me and my brother still you know ah, what I mean the, the vibe the vibes <laughs> the vibes the vibes and everything is coming. But we can, you know, we can, we can write. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, when we said, well, well, let me go back, right? Yeah. What happened was Eaton yeah. came back, I, bought, I sold my car, yeah. bought the trumpet, went straight to the studio. Mm. Now, this was the first time I ever going to a recording studio. Right. Right. And it was big and the band there was there. And we played a track called, we were on a, play, playing a song called Blue Beat and Skia. Big tune. Right, so we 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 done the horns and everybody jumping up in the studio. Yeah, 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 boy, yeah, yeah. 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 And and my have a look by have a look by my brother and we say, I'm mad, them man, them mad. Because I can't play, bro. I could. I went do 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 do, and I couldn't get nowhere. But it's a good thing. It's a good thing. The lines have done. Da, 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 da. So it was. It was great. It was it, fortunate for, for 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 me. I could have gone in because like they actually wanted a horn section right. of their own. Right. But this band, yeah, Matumbis, yeah, was signed to a major company. EMI, right? EMI. Right. And they had all the trappings. They had everything. What a major company was given to an artist. Right. Uh, I myself was was uh, felt foul of, of the whole of the uh, of that situation because mm. one I never get treated right. Oh boy, I'm look, if the money just come, I bring I bring them money. You know what mm. they talk about. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So them I bring them I bring me, but them now carry me correctly. Right, right. You understand? Mm. Well, anyway, that, that's part. That's experience. What mm. I have, but this man was very high because. The first tour, mm -hmm. the first show I done with them was for Castro Brown at uh, Alexandra Palace. Explain who Castro Brown is to the people, because I know who Castro is. Castro, Castro Brown 
was um is is uh, a well record producer, mm-hmm. label management, event uh, event um um producer. So he produced events. I done events for him. Cash Brown. It's always been um we're, we're, uh, working with Jamaican artists mm-hmm. as well as some Eng- few English yeah, artists. because he was because he was he was he was more or less the CEO of DEB Records. Correct, that, yeah, from that, Donna that, that, Yeah, it's, that produced a lot of lot of records with Dennis Brown. Yeah, that correct. Cause them man they was close. Right. And through my sound affiliation and we getting closer to to to, to the music scene now mm. with my tumbies, get me closer even more still now with Castro. Right. Lady Coxon. Mm. Um the unit sound a whole heap of man still. So right. far as them. Lad David, well, well, but Shaka, mm-hmm. well, no, Shaka, man, Shaka was different. Shaka, to Shaka Southeast, mm-hmm. man, we was more closer to him. So he was from Southeast, man, right. better song than me. So, yeah, it was um, so first um, Castro Brown, we done a show for him, and he put on a uh, Matumbes mm-hmm. as headliner, and um, that um, I Rai. And then man, it was, it was on, it was, okay, on, it was, it was on the right, bed. Okay. It wasn't a, it wasn't a happy, it wasn't a happy first event for, for me. Cause people are throw a stone and back up on the stage because the band didn't come on early enough and mm. them thing there. Mm. So remember, I'm, I'm greening up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I'm on the other side looking at looking at the artists and I look for the big sound man. Them I play in other players because they did they they they. they, they them not around the community, but they, they are the heights of the community, you know, and, and yeah, boy, the big, the big man, them up there, so I mm, play and mm, way, way, way. Mm. But it wasn't really nice for me. Man, I threw a stone because they were, you know, the business wasn't set correct. And right. here my man, them is running around going, and I'm listening, and I'm boy, don't go on the stage. Mm. Don't go on the stage. And I'm like, why would I go on the stage? Mm. Anyway, me stand up on the stage side, and people are threw a stone only because they said that the band weren't coming on early enough. So, mm. Wasn't a really good experience at the first, right? But that was the first show. After that, mm-hmm. we went on a tour. Okay. Now I'm coming from Kiribati, me not my own. <laughs> I run up and down and they can't get in a certain club because some of the big man, the, the bouncer, them don't want to let me in the club or make me come in till the club nearly done. Give me a whole night and yeah, yeah. all the bad things. Anyway, I'm seeing. I, I mean, I experienced this and and them say we are going on tour. Mm. Which I went on tour. And I was sitting on the bus, the same bus, mm. with Peter Tosh and Sly and Rabbit, mm. World Sound and Power Bands. Yeah. And it's my first year, this is like my first year into the whole of this music thing. Because around that time, so if it was around that time, that means that means Peter Tosh's album at the time, it must have been Bush Doctor, right? Bush Doctor. Bush Doctor, okay. Yeah, man, yeah, man. And, uh, Ooh, and within one wheel in bicycle, right. I run over from the, uh, uh, you know what I mean, like sound check and from the stage, he used to run. Yeah, man, big tour, man. Yeah. Big tour and working with him. And me lose a couple of, me lose, me lose, me lose a, a game of um, Pluck Jack. <laughs> we, 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 we beat a touch. We beat yeah. a touch and play a card pack in, a, in a the bus. And so, by, by the time, you right. know. And then we were there. And man, my, all I show me how to smoke ganja in a, in a, in a, in a, um, in a carrot. Yeah. They got the big like Karen. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm born in London, bro. What are going on? <laughs> <laughs> well, I do everything saying the food I got born up. I said, no, I fooled that man. <laughs> and I burned that man. So, so, my eyes do a lot of things, that man. So, made. so, so basically, so you, so you embarked on the, on, on a full scale tour. Full scale with tour. With Matumbi and Peter Tosh. So you, and I don't know nothing. So it I was, come. so it was, a, so it was a co-headliner thing or was, was Matumbi more or less the support act? No, no, Matumbi was support act to Peter Tosh. Right, okay, okay. Because remember, Peter Tosh was also signed to Ear Myers. Ear Myers, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Because of, um, um, Mick Rolling Mick, Stones. Mick Jagger, yeah, yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, because so of, yeah, because around the, around that time as well was, um, cause I think Black Uhuru was kind of like around those times. No, as well. no, uh, Black Uhuru never come them time. Was it, was it? Was it? Was it? No, it was no, no, it's, no. My apologies. It was like in it was early eighties that Black Uhuru. Okay, my bad. So basically, so you know, so as a as a UK based reggae outfit, mm. right? You entering into that outfit as you know as green as you was then, embarking on a major tour. With, with with one of the found with one of the whalers then more the or less yeah you know so so 
what was touring with them like and what followed on after No, that? it was really nice. I got a good experience with, with them. Very good, you know. I'm meeting Sly, Sly Dunbar, because upon the song where I play, hey, Mr. Basie, boom, 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 <laughs> boom, Mr. Basie, hey, right? I, I, I'm meeting the great Rabbi Shakespeare, man. Rabbi Shakespeare is a lovely man, you know. Mm. Him, him and one brother straight. Yeah, yeah. And until this day, 40 years on in this thing, yeah. Yeah. And me talk to Rabbi Shakespeare. Me know say I'm going to get direct straight. Mm -hmm. Me now get no, him now come with no easy man, skizzy yeah. man, ray, ray, ray. No, ambi <laughs> no ambiguity whatsoever, man. Oh, brother, him not straight. Mm. If, if him not talk to him, not go talk to him. I go, him, him not go show you. Mm. You go know. Mm. You understand? But if him talk to him now, it, it, it's, it's no judgment. Him come in and... I saw, I, I, I saw me know Rabbi all the while, you know? Mm. You know, it's a pity, like, me, me never really work with them. Mm. Although I have, I have, I had one opportunity and I asked them. Mm. I asked Sly, you know, you know, being like top of top, Hansman section, I go on and mm. if we were, we would like to work with yeah, them, you know? Mm. All me get was a smile from, from, from Sly. We get a smile. Mm. Like we said, yeah, why well, could I work, you know? Mm. But yeah, you understand? Them, them, they, them did right with, um, in, with Chris Blackwell. Well, they, they'll always be with Chris. Mm. Chris will always look after and not take care, stay, um, have them in, 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 in Korea in, in, in hand with, with them, you know? Mm -hmm. So, but. Okay, so. So, I saw me get Matumbi. So, so, mo so moving forward with, with Matumbi mm -hmm. as, as, as your set band at that time. So when, so when did the point, how did the Point of View album, how was that materialised? Oh, that, uh, that um, obviously we right there, the group, uh, the, the, the man and woman for playing the hands uh, uh, on, on, on the, the, the thing, but Dennis... Right, okay, that's, that's, that's what I wanted to ask you. So who was more or less the project coordinator in terms of producing the album? Who was, who was, who was, the, hon who was the head honcho for that? Uh, I know I said Dennis one by himself, you know. Mm. God, Dennis, Den De 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 Dennis is a man... Dennis Bovell we're talking yeah, about. De yeah, Dennis is a man... He like push up in chest, you see. In that man will have push up. Why? Oh, I saw it go. I saw it for going. You know, way, way, way. And so, I, I, it's all that kind of influence was was inside the making of the point of view. The the, the other influence which is coming from obviously Bevin, mm. and 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 Uton, a lot. You know, Eton and them and the the rest of the band were because we're pretty much the same age. Mm. Like myself, Glester. And uh, Ethan, well, they they little older than me, right? right. You know, but we, we, um, but we were we we were the youngest, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. I'm the youngest one. Well, my brother was the youngest one, you know. Right. But um, we we were the youngest sect of the band. Mm -hmm. The Dennis and them and the Dennis and Bevin and 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 Jaboni, mm -hmm. the, them and Webster Johnson. Yeah. The man had a big man. They mean the thing, you know. So stick, stick a pin again because you got you because you got so much so much nuggets of information. So Webster. Webster Johnson, right? Yeah. That name sounds familiar because I remember, I don't know if it's the same brother, I could be wrong, but was Webster Johnson the Webby J yeah. that sang In The Rain? Born Britain Black is a natural I wanna go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Doom, ba -dum, dum, dum, ba -dum, dum. In The Rain. Oh my it may God. May sound crazy. Yeah, man, I do every cheer that so, one. Okay, okay, cool. Where we cheer, man. Sweet, man. Yeah, we got yeah, we got Lovely, lovely, lovely brother. Mm. Yeah, well, they, they, man, they didn't have much, much influence in, 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 in the making of, of, of that album there. Mm. But then it's a lot, you know, that then it's multi instrumentalist and can play a lot of things and, mm. oh, 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 I mean, and it's all that kind of thing, you know mm. what I mean? I think it's that, I, I think through that kind of behavior, that kind of attitude, mm. it broke up the band. Right. It broke up the band and formed a whole heap of different fractions. I was working with Dennis. When I say I was working with Dennis, me that man used to go in a Gooseberry studio, but I'm with West End, you know, so whole, you know, brother. Mm. I only mean, seen a whole heap of, the only time we used to go West End is if, 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 if it's a tear out, you're going to Carnaby Street and you're going to do a, 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 a club and, yeah, yeah. you understand? I was still, I was, 
I was just twenty them down there. Because Goose, Gooseberry Studios was like a, was a staple for like a lot of artists that that came through like the Trojan label as well, right? Because you had people like Nicky Thomas and go up and, go up and Greyhound and all those and all those groups back yeah. in the day. Well, as well, I can't right? remember. I can't remember the brother's name, mm. but I should do. But um, he won. He he was in a con con with, with uh, Michael. Ah, uh, what's his name? They used to have a singing contest thing, and he he I think he won it and. Right, and they they built the studio. Right. He built the studio there, and and Dennis Bovell was a part engineer inside there. Oh, okay. But uh, a better near Mark Lusardi. Mark Lusardi, and I, yeah. I, I remember that. He name. was the main engineer. Right. In 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 in, in Gooseberry Studio. So yeah. Mark Lusardi can tell you about every, all the reggae bands and who he was. And I know, that. and I know you can tell me a whole lot more. That's why we've got to cut this. Cut, cut this conversation for this episode short, but on the next episode we're gonna go into the offshoot of Matumbi, of Matumbi which was which is which is gonna be more or less the Riot dub squad, the Riot Squad, and the dub, dub band, band, right? So thanks for watching, thanks for stopping by. Stay yeah, tuned. Yeah. We're soon forward. <laughs>